everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I will be reacting to my old New Year's resolutions and telling you guys my goals and resolutions for 2017. I cannot believe that it's already 2017, but you've probably heard that a million times so I won't keep talking about it. It is extremely hot and humid right now, so I am sorry if I look like a sweaty mess. So on the 5th of January 2016, I posted my New Year's resolutions for 2016 and I haven't watched it since I posted it. So I'm going to watch it and see if I kept to those New Year's resolutions. I'm watching it on my phone because I can't be bothered to go upstairs and get my laptop, but it's the same thing. Number one is to do things that get me out of my comfort zone. I hate getting out of my comfort zone, so I'm going to try and do one thing every month that gets me out of my comfort zone. Okay, so doing one thing each month that got me out of my comfort zone. I definitely didn't do that consciously. Like, I wasn't like, okay, this month I will do this thing. But I definitely did get out of my comfort zone. A big thing for me was phone calls. Like, I don't know, I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's something related to anxiety or something, but I absolutely hate, still hate, not as much, making phone calls, especially when it's to businesses or companies or anyone besides my mom. And although I still hate them, I have definitely made a lot of phone calls this year, so that probably sounds so stupid, but it's a big thing for me. <laughs> I'm hand in hand, but the first thing is not complain as much, and the second thing is stop saying I don't have time, or at least try not to say it as much as I do now. I think I forgot about this one, not saying that I definitely did heaps of complaining and I said I don't don't have time a lot but I definitely didn't consciously think about this one again <laughs> I don't think I complained a lot I hope I didn't I can't remember very well <laughs> but the thing about saying I don't have time I think I did improve on that in 2016 so in 2015 I was very stressed and worried about how I was gonna get everything done whereas in 2016 although it was very stressful and it was very 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 busy I was really excited to say yes to things I did a lot with my time and that's probably what I'm most proud of. The thing is you make time for the things that you want to make time for and I definitely did that this year, I think. Another one is take a lot of photos. So I'm going to take as many photos as I possibly can. I definitely did that in 2016. I took so many photos and I'm so incredibly happy about it. I love photos so much. And my Polaroid camera was definitely a really big help to that. I took so many Polaroids this year and I am so glad that I did. And I hope I continue that into 2017. Work harder in biology and maths this year. So with biology, I definitely improved my mark from last year and I really did jump my rankings up compared to last year and I'm really, really proud of that. And with maths, I did improve, but I didn't improve as much. It was still my worst subject. I ended up on a straight B which I'm honestly not that unhappy about. Maths has always been a struggle for me. So, you know what? I'm not that mad about it. Related one is I want to walk out of year 12 knowing that I did the best that I possibly could. This was one that I was really passionate about. There are so many people that I had talked to after they finished year 12 and they regretted not doing their best. They regretted not spending enough time with their friends. They regretted so many different aspects of grade 12, wishing they had done some part of it better. So I was extremely determined to make sure that I walked out of year 12 without any regrets, knowing that I had tried my hardest and my best and I had had an amazing year and I couldn't have asked for a better year. I was college captain, I was in the touch football team, the normal football team or soccer, whatever you want to call it. I was in a fitness group, I helped run the social justice group, I did a whole lot of organizing events and things like that. I had a part-time job which I still continue to work at every single week. I had my YouTube channel obviously which I did continue to post consistently and pretty much every week except for maybe one or two weeks. I managed to grow my channel from 4,000 at the beginning of the year to 19,000 by the end of it. I went to church, I went to Bible study, I helped out at my church at a little kids youth group thing as a junior leader and I still had a social life and went out with my friends every single weekend. So I definitely think I made the most of 2016. And I think the last school one on here possibly is to get a single digit OP. I have had so many questions. So I did get a single digit OP. I was so happy with my OP. I have a whole video about it if you want to go watch it but I got a four, which is equivalent of a like 93, 94, 95 ATAR, I think. I can't remember. You can look up the conversion. Oh, and that is to upload every Wednesday and Saturday. So, 
So I definitely posted pretty consistently. I tried to make sure that I was uploading twice a week. Of course in year 12 that was kind of hard but I did do it most weeks. I don't think there were many weeks where I didn't post a video. There were quite a few times where it was late but I did the best I could and I'm definitely happy with how my YouTube channel went this year. Another YouTube one which I just saw is a weekly vlog every single week of 2016. I think I did that. I definitely uploaded almost every week. If I missed a week, there was probably only one or two that I missed because I remember posting one pretty much every week. And I'm so happy that I did that. I am so excited to look back on those in years to come because this year was one of the best years of my life. So I'm so happy that I vlogged it. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't do that one. I definitely did save money and I did budget, but I didn't keep such a strict budget every month. But I want to buy a car this year. I did buy a car this year, which I am so happy about. I have my little Ford Fiesta. Fifi is her name. Fifi, the Fiesta. It's lame, but it's cute. I bought it and it is all mine and I'm so happy. So overall, I don't think I did badly. I definitely did forget about some of them or I did not keep to some of them, but the ones that were most important to me, I definitely followed through with. And I had a lot of resolutions slash goals last year and I don't have that many this year, so I think I'll be able to hopefully get them all done. Let's see. So I have my trusty ideas book and I have my New Year's resolutions for 2017. So I decided this year that I would only have five resolutions just because I thought I would keep it more minimal and simple and then I'll be able to focus more and hopefully remember all of them this year. So the first one might seem a little weird when I say it, but it's talk less. I'm not talking about like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone and I'm not talking about obviously on my YouTube channel like I can't talk less here because uh, that's what I do. That's what this whole channel is about. But I mean when I am in group situations I really need to learn to listen more, listen to others before I try and butt in with my own opinion. Not only because it's a nice thing to do and because it's rude to butt in and talk over people but I've learned that the people who talk less are the people that you listen to more. There was this one girl that I used to play football with and she didn't really talk a lot but when she did say something everyone stopped to listen because since she didn't talk that much what she was saying was obviously a very important and I also feel like you learn a lot more by listening like if you're just talking you're saying things that you already know so you're not really gonna learn from it but I know that's a bit of a weird one but that's definitely my first New Year's resolution my second one is don't gossip so in 2016, one of my resolutions was not to complain, and that was because it's so unnecessary, it doesn't help the situation, it doesn't make anything any better, it doesn't build anyone up, so what is the point of it? You're just wasting words. And it's the same with gossiping. My third New Year's resolution is to move out of home. I don't know exactly when that will be happening because I need to find somewhere to move out, probably find some people to move out with. And it's a really big process, but I really want to move out this year. And I definitely feel like I'm ready for it. I definitely feel like it's my time to move out. So we will see how that one goes. My fourth New Year's resolution is a pretty standard one for a lot of YouTubers, but it's to grow my channel. And I'm not talking about numbers of subscribers or numbers of views or thumbs up or comments or numbers. I'm not talking about the statistics. This year I want to make videos that I want to make and that I think will benefit you guys. I pretty much did that in 2016 anyway. I feel like and I have felt like this for a very long time having my YouTube channel but I've been given this platform for a reason and I don't want to waste this platform that I have. I have the opportunity to share my words and my videos with people across the world and I just don't want to waste that. I have a very big heart and passion for young girls and teenage girls and things like that because I feel like the world just exposes girls and te well, teenage girls especially to so many things that aren't beneficial and aren't positive and aren't helpful. The world is a messy place and I feel like young girls don't always have the best role models or the best examples to follow and I'm not saying that I'm perfect and that I'm going to be the best example and you should all do exactly what I do but I want to share my advice and my experience with you guys because I feel like it could help someone hopefully one person maybe
And my fifth and last one, and probably the most important one, is put God first. I've talked about my faith in quite a lot of videos. If you don't know, I'm a Christian, but I don't talk about it a lot in my videos, and I do get a lot of questions from you guys to talk about it. So I don't want to shy away from that. A lot of the time through my videos, I won't talk a lot about it because I don't want to offend anyone or make anyone feel uncomfortable. But this is my channel, and if you don't want to hear about that stuff, that's fine. You don't have to watch. I'm definitely not trying to force my beliefs or my opinions on anyone at all that is definitely not what I'm doing but my faith is a huge part of my life and I share my life on the internet that's just what I do so why wouldn't I share that with you guys but not only on YouTube I want to put him first in every aspect of my life I feel like my life goes a lot better and I have a lot more peace and happiness when I am focusing more on him and who doesn't want peace and joy in their life so hopefully I'll be able to do that this year I know that I'll definitely fail at times but who doesn't everyone's stuff up, everyone makes mistakes. But those were my New Year's resolutions. So I'm sorry if this is a super long video because I feel like I talked for ages and one of my New Year's resolutions was to not talk as much, but you know, it's baby steps. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what your New Year's resolutions are down below because I would love to know. I hope you guys have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.